Hello, welcome back everybody. Ashur Steve here signing in for another tutorial. Dear friends, today we will be looking together how we can configure the NTP server and to update the time in the Cisco router. So without much further ado, let's kick it. Okay, so let's configure quickly our topology. So we will grab one uh, Cisco router here. Then we will also take one server. And then we will also take one system here. Yeah. Okay, so now let's consider this one as our uh, NTP server. So we will rename this as our NTP server. Then this is our switch, this is our router. So let's connect our cables from switch to router and from system PC to switch. And then we will just grab one IP address for this network. So let's consider as 182.168.10.0. This will be our network. So now let's put away our IP addresses. So let's go to the desktop IP address set here 192.168.10.2. And then our default gateway is 10.1. Okay. And this PC will have three. So 192.168.10.3 and then 192.168.10.1. That's our default. Now let's quickly put our router default gateway here. Since we are not getting the interface ID, we go to the preferences and then show. Always show port levels. Okay. So now you can see that. Now we will go to the router and then we will go to the CLI. Another this we go to the config t let's set the IP address for this interface GIG 0 slash 0 0 slash 0 then IP address we'll put as 192.168.10.1 default subnet mass of 255 255.255.0 255 enter we we'll give no shot okay so now the link is up and then uh, now let's exit once and then we will also put the host name host name will put as r1 okay so now let's check this uh, uh, clock to show clock as now you can see that uh, our clock is still not updated as of now it is back years 1993 so we'll need a server in order to synchronize the clock in the router so let's go back to the server and then we will go to the services from here and then we will go to the NTP this one and then we will enable this and then yes now we will close this and now our IP address is 2 server IP address so let's try to ping once whether we can ping or not ping 192.168.10.2 okay so we can ping and then our default gateway yes we can ping and let's send a packet from here yes it's successful yes okay server and SD is very all right one more time we will try from this to here here's okay so now everything is okay now let's go to the router to update this so to be server and the server IP address is here 192.168. Then to enter so exit and then we will write to save the configuration and once again let's ping from here to the server 192.168.10.2 we'll send a package now it is going through you can ping 
uh, at least it will take some uh, 10 to 20 to 60 seconds it take to update uh, from the server to the router so we have to wait a little bit one more time we'll just ping okay it's pinging one more time let's see yes now you can see that now the clock has been updated so now the clock and the server has been synced to each other so that is how we can uh, configure the NTP server to monitor and synchronize the uh, time for the router which is online so dear friends uh, thank you for your time I hope this video has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you please do like share and subscribe see you in the next video thank you